Hello everybody, this is Brian Garvin, and today I'm gonna to review Coin Ledger and the seven most powerful features, and then you could decide if you think it's something that you wanna um, do or not. Um, the first thing I wanna say before I say this is uh, it's 70, I, I'm sorry, it's 67 degrees in Oceanside. I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this video from Oceanside, California. It's a beautiful day. And um, what I wanna say about taxes is you want to stay clean. You want to be on the clean side of crypto because if you're going to be in this game for the long run, the government's going to expect you to pay your fair share of taxes. Um, I've always been a proponent of paying taxes, although I, I totally disagree with some of the ways the government spends money, but I still feel like I have a responsibility to pay taxes regardless of how I feel about that. So I suggest you take that route also. Um, so let's go over these features of CoinLedger and see if they interest you or not. Okay, the first feature is it has a data import feature. You can collect, you could go to your cryptocurrency exchange and they all have some sort of a taxes section where you can import certain things like, um, you can go, you, you can access your wallet or other sources of transaction data and you can import these into CoinLedger. They accept all forms of this type of data. Um, this is usually done through an API application programming interface connection or you can upload transaction history files and they'll accept those as well. Uh, feature number two is transaction classification. Coin, what CoinLedger does is they analyze the imported data and they categorize the transactions into different types, such as buys, sells, trades, and income, um, and staking rewards. So if you're gonna do really specific stuff in crypto, you should consider CoinLedger like, for example, if, you, if, you're, if you're mining and, you, and you're trying to collect on, uh, you know, you're trying to do taxes for mining rewards, staking, um, income, or, you know, buys, sells, and trades, which is pretty much everybody's doing that to an extent. Um, airdrops. If you're involved in airdrops, you're going to want to consider this service because it actually knows how to calculate for all this stuff. Um, I'm not an accountant, and, and I don't think a lot of CPAs are going to be able to do this the same way as CoinLedger. Um, and if you want to transfer your crypto between your wallets and exchanges, um, which you probably will end up doing eventually, especially if you're signed up for five or six exchanges. Sometimes you're gonna transfer some of your coins from one exchange to another. I mean, a lot of us do that. Um, I don't personally do it yet. I'm mostly just involved with Coinbase, but eventually I will once I stack enough and once I find out you know, a coin on another exchange I wanna buy that Coinbase doesn't offer. So you know, we're eventually all gonna get into that game as we stack our, our crypto you know, in the long run. So it's something to think about. On feature three, it has a tax calculation feature. Um, based on all your, excuse me, your categorized transactions, it'll calculate either the taxable gains or the taxable losses for each transaction. This typically involves determining the cost basis, which is, cost basis just means your original purchase price of the cryptocurrency. They go by that. And then they also can calculate the fair market value at the time of the transaction. Um, now, feature number four is a FIFO LIFO uh, calculation. What that means is first FIFO stands for first in, first out. LIFO stands for last in, first out. And depending on the user's preference, um, it'll apply these principles or these accounting methods to calculate gains and losses for trades of cryptocurrency assets. So, you know, it does all this kind of stuff for you. And, you know, it, it's it, you could do a CPA to to do it manually and, and who knows how much he's gonna charge you per hour. I'm not really, I, I know they're not cheap. Um, or you can just have CoinLedger do it all. Um, feature number five is tax reporting. Uh, they, they, CoinLedger generates tax reports including IRS form 8, 89499. Now if you're not aware of what 8949 is IRS form, it's basically how you report your crypto profits to the IRS. Um, it's a very important form when it comes to crypto and um, Coinbase actually has one pre-filled for you if you're using them, but you're still gonna, you're still gonna need um, CoinLedger for other things, more like advanced stuff, like I was talking about before, staking, airdrops, things like that. So um, summarizing the user's cryptocurrency transactions to their associated gains or losses. So um, you'll be able to report to the government any loss you have or any gain you have in, in the crypto space. With, with 8949, uh, these reports are often provided in formats compatible with tax filing software or can be directly submitted to, to tax authorities. And that, that's your, really your objective, is to get all the information that the government wants, put it in a nice little package and submit it to your tax authority. 
and coin ledger helps you with all that um, now compliance they also offer other features to help users remain compliance with local tax regulations so let's say for example you're in the united states but you're in california um, coin ledger knows the laws in that particular state or if you're in mississippi or you're in new york or texas you know they or florida they know all that they, they know certain things apply to certain states and they're going to help you maintain your compliance depending on where you live and if you're out of the country you know in your australia mexico you know jamaica new zealand whatever they're going to help you with that as well um, compliance is something that they're totally up on they do this all day every day and they have you know i don't know how many customers they have but they have a lot of customers they're the leading uh tax people in the crypto space so you know so d depending on whatever jurisdiction you're in you're going to be covered uh number seven is their the integration with accounting software the first thing i want to mention is they integrate with TurboTax and coinbase a lot of you guys are going to use coinbase especially if you're a beginner because it's the, the graphical interface on coinbase is super easy and intuitive and you don't need any technical skills to become a millionaire in crypto or stack a hundred grand or whatever your goals are. You can play that game without guilt. Um, you don't have to worry about complicated trading interfaces and stuff like that like you do on pretty much every other exchange. Um, there might be a couple others that are user friendly as well. I know I know Kraken semi user friendly, but Coinbase is like, as far as I'm concerned, is, is the most user friendly one around. Um, you want to, they offer integration with other tax platforms. I mean, other platforms as well. As long as they have a little tax section where you can download your forms, all the major ones have them um, because they know they have to have them because they're gonna really, you know, the government's really gonna eat them up if they don't offer that feature. So um, you wanna incorporate your transactions into their, uh, you're basically gonna use that to do the, uh, create all this stuff so it, it you're compliant with the government and that's the only goal for this stuff and you're going to save a lot of legwork by using um coin ledger because they're in the game they know what's going on and they want to help you and i i've written their support two or three times asking a couple different questions and they were very prompt they were very polite um so they're a good company to deal with and um you can make your own decision whether you want to do taxes yourself, like I said in another video, hire a CPA or use CoinLedger. Um, and you can use CoinLedger with a CPA. You could just get them all the crypto data they need to save them a lot of work, which will probably save you a lot of money because they charge by the hour. So that's about all I have to say on this video. Um, in the next four videos, what I plan on doing is talk about Bitcoin borrowing and, and is that legit or not and, and, and some things you want to you know look for when doing that and i also want to talk about three um nasdaq stocks and one stock that's offered over the new york stock exchange that i'm personally involved with and invested in and the reasons why i'm invested in and my overall profit so far over just a little over maybe nine ten weeks because i actually started january 1st so i'll say it's let's just say 10 weeks is a, a little over 30 percent i think i'll have to recalculate and i'll give you the exact number or close to that number when i do those videos but i just want to let you know what's coming up um, we got a lot of exciting things to talk about and so if you subscribe i will put you up on all the alpha that i know and my personal goal is to become a crypto millionaire within two to three years and, and i actually have a logical plan to make that happen and, I, and if you take my beginner crypto course, it's, it's luckyinvestor.com forward slash crypto class. You're gonna learn everything you need to know about how to sign up for Coinbase. I, have, I, I, I walk you through every single step. I, I include detailed screenshots. I even have an update section that puts you up on a lot of alpha that you probably don't know right now. And I'll keep putting more up there as I get, get new information that'll help you. Um, so that's what I'm all about. I'm all about helping you get to the next level um, legally. And um, that's what I'm all about. I want to help tens of thousands of people achieve their dreams. And I know you can tell by this, you know, a lot of the videos that I create that I'm not the best video editor, but my heart is there and I really want to help you. Um, so hopefully we can run with that and make something of it and, and stack you some serious um, coin over the next, you know, three to five years. So that's about all I have for this video and have an incredible day. I'm, I'll be in touch. All right, thank you.